Let's talk about some books, shall we? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to talk with you guys about all of the books that I read in October. And I am so proud of myself for this month. I have read some amazing books and I'm currently reading some amazing ones as well. I want to say grab a nice cup of tea just like I'm doing or coffee or whatever because it is definitely autumn right now and I'm looking outside it's raining and I also love the cozy setting that I have right here this is my new favorite filming corner with the beautiful lights and the plants and the books we love to see it <laughs> but before we're gonna get into the five books that I want to talk about today I have a really fun announcement and I've been talking about this on my Instagram on my Twitter so much already so if you follow me on my social media pages you probably know what I'm gonna talk about next and that is that my Etsy shop has had a new launch of products and I've never been more excited and more proud of the products in my Etsy shop than with these ones. I have lots of new things that I didn't have in my store before. One of my favorite items is a new bookmark that I have and it is this one which has gold foil details and it's so stunning. This is a girl holding a stack of books and in the books I wrote badass book babe because I think we all are badass book babes here in the booktube community, book community in general I should say. <laughs> There's so much more to the book community than just booktube. <laughs> and I drew some beautiful little butterflies around the girl with some dots and I'm just obsessed. It has a super smooth velvet finish so it's a little different from my previous bookmarks who are very glossy and sturdy this one is still sturdy but it's velvet and matte and it's it's so nice i love it so much then i have two sticker sheets as well as bigger individual little sticker set packs things and one theme is what up witches it's like a witchy Halloween vibe. I love it so much. And my favorite out of the two sticker sheets, sticker packs, is the cozy coffee corner because I am a coffee gal. I work as a barista in a really cute cafe, so I wanted to kind of like have an homage to that and with books and just a cozy reading nook like my own. And I think this sticker sheet shows that perfectly. And then last but definitely not least, I have two notepads. I am obsessed with my notepads, to be honest. <laughs> this one I called Head in the Clouds. My idea was that you would basically like write down your thoughts in the little clouds that I drew right here. And my favorite one that I use every single day is the let's get shit done to-do list. It is perfect, in my opinion. It's minimalistic. It doesn't distract you. I think you have about 12 bullet points yes you have to write down things that you want to do until next monday i will have a 20 percent discount sale going on on all of my products in my etsy shop so if you want to get my products get them this week in order to save some coin <laughs> and um, i'm doing that because on monday the 9th of november i'm starting my thesis and i'm really scared and i probably won't have that much time to spend on my small Etsy business and also on reading, so that's a bit sad. Go check out my shop, links are in the description box down below, and get your 20% off. And you'll get some nice products in exchange for that. <laughs> now, let's get into the books that I read in October. So the first book that I finished is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, and the second one is A Conjuring of Light, the second and third book in the Darker Shade of Magic series. Oh my god, you guys, I finished a series! <laughs> Yes, let the cheering come. <laughs> I rarely, if ever, finish a series, and this year I hosted the A Conjuring of Readalongs together with Jasmine from Jasmine the Reader. We also had live shows after every single book that we finished, and it was so much fun with all of our special guests. So a big, big thank you to Allison, Kate, Olivia, Leonie, and Joel. It was so much fun. Fun. I gave A Gathering of Shadows a four and a half out of five stars and this is my favorite in the trilogy. I hear that from a lot of the people who have read this series and A Conjuring of Light was my least favorite and I think I would still give it a four out of five though but it was... I expected more and I got very little of what I expected. <laughs> I won't be telling you guys the plot of these stories because obviously spoilers, but the first book is A Darker Shade of Magic and in that we follow Kel who is an Antari, which means that he can travel between parallel Londons. We have Grey London, which is very similar to our world, like no magic is there really. We have Red London where magic is celebrated and it just seems like a wonderful world. And then we have White London where magic is really taking away 
away the power out of people and it's it's, it's not really great and then black london is kind of non-existent it has been consumed by magic no one knows how everything is going in black london and between one of his trips to the parallel london's kel takes an artifact with him which is very dangerous and that is where the plot takes off it is so whimsical and ve schwab victoria schwab's writing style is amazing and you will fly through these books because of how she writes the stories a gathering of shadows has an amazing plot there is a magical tournament in here which i also really enjoyed and you can see that the characters who we were introduced to in the first book are going through a lot of growth and i just loved it so much and book three there is just a ton of build-up in book two about like our main villain and it just seems like everything that is extremely hectic was going to happen in this book but where was the plot where we couldn't find it okay <laughs> we had such an amazing discussion with joel from fictional fates i will leave a link to the live show somewhere here on the screen because it was so much fun hashtag daddy and tari <laughs> if you've seen the live show you know <laughs> what we agreed on is that there is literally almost no plot in this book and the build-up to the villain in book two is insane and it just felt kind of disappointed in this one even though i still loved following these characters <clears throat> It was a bit of a disappointment <laughs> but overall i would definitely give this trilogy like a four to a four and a half out of five stars and it's one of my new favorites i just love fee schwab so much and these characters and then the last book that i finished in october is the midnight library by matt Haig, and i heard so many people talk about it in the past month big big trigger warnings for suicide and mental health the beginning of this book is very intense so be aware of that the premise of this book is that our main character Nora Seed finds herself in some kind of in-between state between life and death and for her that is called the Midnight Library and in the Midnight Library you can basically try out all of the different lives that you could have lived if you had made different decisions which was very interesting and definitely what intrigued me a lot about this book. <laughs> this book deals a lot with being happy and appreciative about the small things in your life and also that you shouldn't regret the choices that you have made and i don't know it just felt super super touching and a very important read something that i need at this point in my life where i'm kind of like what am i doing here what is my goal and stuff like that but i did not care for our main character like she didn't annoy me but also she wasn't any things special to me she didn't stand out but i loved seeing her just live various different lives that she could have lived but the message of this book is just really amazing and i have some wonderful quotes that i wrote down i really enjoyed that so i cannot wait to pick up other books by matt haig i give this one a four out of five stars and if this one is on your radar i definitely recommend it okay let's see if my tea is okay now still pretty hot but i like this <laughs> i like tea that is almost too hot where it's kind of like burning your throat but in an enjoyable way i don't know if that's possible <laughs> and now on to the two books that i'm currently reading i'm still <laughs> currently reading avatar the last airbender the promise i <laughs> literally have 100 pages left of this graphic novel and then i'm done i could have definitely finished this one on october but i kind of forgot about it so let's finish it this week in November. I'm not going to talk about the plot because kind of spoilers, but this graphic novel reads as if I'm watching an Avatar episode. So I'm all for that and it's really good. But the other book that I'm currently reading is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is the august no september and october book for the world readers book club the book club that i'm co-hosting together with leonie from the book leo i am a little over one third of the way through and i'm so intrigued so we follow naomi if i'm pronouncing her first name correctly and she and her father have received a letter from their cousin catalina and she's been married into this very creepy i think english family called the doyles and ever since she got married to virgil she went and lived in their house which is called High Place. This place is really creepy and Catalina writes a letter to Naomi and her father saying that they are trying to poison her and that she can see ghosts and Naomi is being sent to Catalina to High Place to kind of see what's going on and it is 
intriguing until so far and mushrooms are being mentioned so many times I don't know how I'm gonna feel about mushrooms after this book and I love our main character until so far she seems like a super smart woman I should say she's 22 years old she's only one year older than me and I find it very strange to think about myself as a woman instead of a girl but I am a woman <laughs> And Naomi is too. <laughs> she is very motivated. She is a feminist. She is smart. She is funny. I love the main character. And the family in this book is so creepy. And I love to get to know more about their history. So we are discussing this book on November 7th on my channel. I will have information about the live show down in the description box. And our special guest for this live show is Andrea from Book Ramble. She is the biggest fan of Silvia Moreno Garcia. So I'm so excited to discuss the book with Leonie and with her on Sunday, Saturday, yeah, November 7th. Those were all the books that I wanted to talk about with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!